Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Planar Conquest with no fair fights. Today's episode will be the Hill Giant and the Acid Element. But first for the Hill Giant, the Hill Giant itself is mostly dangerous because of the fact that he has a lot of hit points and this guy hits like a truck on speed. Plus 16 to his attack value, so if your armor, even if your armor is 17, he will hit you 100% of the time and he will do a lot of damage. Well, except for a natural one, but that's beside. His defenses are horrible. 13 means you hit him every time. However, in sieges, he can crush walls, he can move through mountains. So, for example, the plane of earth, he will be most useful and he can attack flying units and that is especially dangerous at least for us well not for this army but mostly you run around with heroes flying or with units flying because you can kill a lot of stuff if you're flying that will not work against that fellow and he's pretty fast with four movement points his fortitude save is through the roof with plus 10 so some if you've got spells that work against fortitude it will not work on him he costs six mana upkeep which is a lot the Acid Elemental, on the other hand, though, has very little hit points, not a very good defense, is a little bit slower, but has a ton of immunities. Immunity to Acid, immunity to Illusion, immunity to Poison, that means, for example, immunity, Illusion, Blur, and that stuff is not going to work on him. Elemental, no mind effect, no critical hits, no poison, no sneak attacks. The thing itself does even more damage than the... Um, Giant, because it does normal damage, acid damage, and poison damage. Oh boy, that's a lot of damage coming through here. Armor class is therefore not that good. So let's see, he's level 8, the other is level 4. It says low, it's not that low, trust me. Okay, first and most important thing is we'll try to keep our distance and try to hit them as hard as we can with our blast weapon. Their armor class is pretty bad, as you can see. Normally we only hit enemies on this distance by 30% because they have reasonable armor class. This guy does not. However, his high um, saving throw, it's, I think, for um, dexterity, reflex, not for fortitude, so this might go through, hopefully. And it does. Our glaive guys are hit, so we'll do the best we can to heal them up. The low armor class indicates that this both targets are best fought on distance. Because they do so much damage in close combat and we don't want that to happen. Acid arrow, cast acid arrow on them is not going to work even a little, so we're not trying that. Man, does this guy has a lot of hit points. Unbelievable. 28. We should be able to take him out now with one strike. 14. We could even try to cast another, another acid arrow on him. 4. Uh, no, it's too risky. Holy crap, that guy hit us pretty hard. Let's cast a heal on ourselves. Get back to action. Okay, we need a really, really good ranged attack now. That was not what I was hoping for. Yay! Can we attack again? We can! And his attack wasn't that useful, but we got him pretty badly. We got a lot of gold, we got a lot of mana, we got a fire shield spell, not a friend of that. And a buckler of glory. Oh boy, what is a buckler of glory? What is in there? Myrmidons and legionaries. We cannot go there anyway. Uh, the buckler of glory is pretty useless. However, the gold is good and the spell, let's have a look at the spell. Um, fire shield. I think it's a combat spell. Fire shield. Deals 50% of the received damage back as fire damage. Oh, that's not exactly a killer, is it? Um, but the gold is good, the mana is good. Well, not that we have a chance. So... Myrmidons and Legionaries. Myrmidons, these are actually not summoned units. As you can see, they cost gold and food. They're build units. 
by the insect race, they can reach flying targets, they can charge, that means they do damage before you can do damage and if they kill you with their first attack you have no chance to retaliate. They have iron will, the armor class is pretty high with 17, they have good movement, they can reach flying units as we know and they do pierce ring damage. The legionaries on the other hand are just living, very little hit points, very little armor class, not really a burner, two attacks but they're not both not very effective. But they're very cheap. They're I think the counterpart of our crossbow, of our bowmen. Oh boy, but they have a lot of them. Okay. Well, of course, we will be retreating. That's the first and most effective thing we always do as ranged fighters. But you can see that they're pretty big. However, chances of hitting them are not that high. We try to get rid of the small ones by some acid attacks. However, they do their saves, which is pretty bad for us. Let's do another one. Oh, they do their saves as well. Way, oh boy. And the big guys are coming. What? How can I miss? I thought we were elves. So much for that. Okay, we keep acid arrowing them. Because that's the best thing we can do at this point. They're high armor class. Man, they've either I've either I'm rolling pretty bad or their resistances are a lot better than I thought. But you see their speed is a problem. They're coming in pretty fast. We can only go into close combat now because, um, well, our units are already pretty badly hurt. Okay, for reasons unknown. Oh, that was bad. I thought it was those guys. Didn't work that well. Hit them! We're getting far too badly hit here. He's on 25 life points. Can someone please kill them? This is a battle that is not going to our liking. Oh, but we survived. We survived and we got a lot of gold. I think these guys are the equivalent of my um, flying Pegasi riders. They both have charge. They both both can reach flying units. They've got a bonus plus three to their will saves. And they have actually quite good saves for normal units. For not summoned units. Okay. Could really use some healing here. Good and big income. I like that. You will have to rush here, my friend, and move fast if that is possible. Plus, plus 8 mana is pretty good. There is no one here, is that to be believed? I have problems believing that. We have stone skin and we will cast it on you because you need a better protection. Minus 5 each turn. The gold chest, yes please, we need more gold cannot move anymore great okay we have built the forest thingy food get a big food bonus now from I think our um, owned buildings where is it the sawmill increases production by 25% and at 3 percent bonus food per forest tile to the city's radius so, what else do we need? A farmer's market increases the food produced by two as well as, as the maximum population by two. But we already have maximum population, so this is not going to help us. We could build the stable to increase city production even more, and I think that is what we should do. 
Even though we're losing a lot of money and building the stables will cost us two more upkeep, so we're going into the negatives pretty soon. Because we're not producing any money, we don't have any money producing buildings, for that matter. Um, our guys here will move around the mountains, because they cannot move through mountains. Ah, but we can... Oh, what is that? Mana storage. Oh, we cannot reach it. Ah, uh, so close. Um, oh, look at that. There is a city. Can we reach that city? How good are we at this point? Well, it is a small city, and I think it's Draconians. Oh, boy, it is Draconians. And they're pretty good at what they do. This could be a problem. Holy cow! This is bad! This is really a lot of them. Okay, we need some help here. Uh, fire shield. No, 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 no. Life ward. Mm. No, negates first hit is not helping. Fire resistance is not helping. We already have um, a good armor class because we already have the stone skin. We have plus, we have stone form and flaming weapon. So what can we do? Bless, I think we already, we have already bless, do we? I think we have bless. Oh boy. Oh boy, but there's so many of them. So blur can be an attack a chance because we will ignore one fifth of the incoming attacks, um, and there will be a lot of them. We could do freezing damage or we could do unholy damage. I think unholy damage will benefit us the most in order to do more. Strike them with all force. Draconians are not the best at taking damage. When you look at them, they don't have a lot of hit points. Their armor class isn't that high. And their only special ability, so to say, is the fact that they are flying. They're cheap, but there is, that is their ground or their starting unit. So where other starting units only cost one food, they cost one food and one gold. So they're not that um, cheap. Oh, and they hit us pretty badly right from the start. Die! Could you please stop hitting us? That would really help the cause. We have an armor class of 18. Please do something. 19. Please do something out of that. We're not. We're getting whacked by some kind of flying uh, beasts. We don't have healing spells. That is negative. You might wonder why I'm not trying to fly away. They're flying themselves. So if we try to fly away, we'll get a counterattack from each and every one of them. But I think they're done. So much for cities. Well, this is a neutral city. They have no walls or anything like that. We get some fame. We get experience. We leveled up. And we will raise the city because we have no need for Taconians. And they don't like us. And I don't want unrest in my cities. Um, what is this? A fire gateway. That is a fire elemental. It has fire immunity. We don't care for that. Has an additional start in melee phase. Okay, can it reach flying units? It can, and it will do 15 damage. Hmm. But we could deal with that guy. Nightmare horses, we know those. They're pretty tough. But they cannot reach us, so that's not our primary problem. This guy can reach us. And this guy does... A lot of damage. Oh boy. And he's fast. And he can take his armor class, however, isn't that high. Hmm. We could, we could, we could. And this is a hellhound. Oh, bogus. What do we have here? A scrambling more. I think they're more to our liking. Yeah, but we cannot go there for this point. Okay. Um, we could. Let's have a look at our... Fire shield, uh, back as firing damage. 
I want the strategic spells, please. Ah, we cannot cast what I want to cast here. We cannot cast the fire shield permanently or the fire resistance. We could cast this on our uh, poor little guy here to increase his saves even more. What are your saves, by the way? 553. But we're already paying 5 upkeep for just for you. That is a lot, mister. That is a lot. Okay, you will go here. And... Wait a minute, who are you? Why do you cost 100 gold now? I think you cost a lot more. Don't really get that. She costs 10 gold upkeep. Are you nuts? Oh boy. Well, that will be an extra episode. Okay. So we stop it here and next time will be the episode of the new hero. See you all then. Bye.